Have I been lied to for three years? Dun dun. Dear Neve and Max, my name is Jalen and I'm 20 years old and my girlfriend just asked me to move to another state to be with her. Oh boy. I'm about to make the most important decision of my life, but there's one problem. We've never met in person. Heard this one before. So wait a second, take us back a little bit and explain how you guys met. Okay, I actually saw her and suggested friends and I went ahead and added her and then she actually messaged me. And like a short conversation later, she gave me her phone number and said, text me. And that's how we started off. So she was a suggested friend because before she moved to Wyoming, she lived in Ohio, right? She did, she lived within 40 minutes or so for me. Had you guys tried to meet up? Actually, uh, yeah, I tried to meet up with her on more than one occasion, but she always blew me off whenever I was like right there. And then um, she went off to college to do track. You obviously know of the show, you wrote in to us. You're clearly dating a catfish, right? That's, that's what I need to find out. I'm just lost. In the history of our show, this has never been a great situation where you've never heard their voice or seen them on video chat. But I think that your story deserves an ending. For starters, you gave us her Facebook page. Yeah. When we go to like photos, there are very few pictures of her with anybody else, and none of them are tagged. They're also not in chronological order either. It's like sometimes she has two tattoos, right. sometimes she has one tattoo. Hard to know if this is real or not. So then we just thought, okay, we gotta just do a Google search to see if we could find anything about this girl. We used the username she uses on her Facebook page to yeah. see what comes up. It found the Facebook page. Then it also found some Twitter accounts. And what's weird is that this one's only got one tweet, and there's even another one. Puff that <laughs> Do any of these oh. posts sound like her? No. If these aren't her, yeah. and someone's faking her Twitter accounts, that means that it's very high likely that someone's faking her Facebook page too. We figure, okay, we need to find out if there's actually a girl named Jayla who does actually run track in Wyoming. Okay. So we found their like track and field page. Turns out they have a list of all their current students. And bingo, Jayla And there's even like a page for her. And she's legit, she won the state champ. I mean, it's like everything you That's know about it right this. There. That's her. So we did an image search and found this. There's an Instagram account, X Sprinter, 3,400 followers. You never saw this? No. And this page goes back pretty far, right? It goes back like three years. So this is where all the pictures are coming from. She's a good person to fake because she's got a lot of pictures of herself. A lot of selfies. Right. And it brought us to this. I was never told about another dude at all. It looks like the real Jayla is in a serious relationship with this guy. They got matching tattoos. Oh my gosh. You wanna look and see if she's posted lately? Maybe something, I don't know. Under it's the weekend, maybe she went out last feet. night. Here's X Sprinter. This is the one that we think is really hers because it's been around the longest. It's got the most followers. Oh. 17 minutes, minutes ago. ago. Where is it? I Where love is cheat days, lunch with Bay at Tap. Wait, tap. lunch with Bay? Well, what, what's this Tap place? Wait, 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 what's the picture? Picture of breakfast. Okay, 17 minutes ago. Yeah, look up Tap. Tap house, Laramie? Yeah, that's really close to here, guys. It's like a mile down the street. You wanna go? We should go. All right, let's go. All right, come on. This is crazy. Hopefully we'll catch her. She could be a fast eater. <sighs> Either she knows who you are, or she has no clue who you are. I've got a lot to ask. Jayla? Yes. Hi, I'm Neve. I make a show called Catfish on MTV. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Strange as this may seem, we're trying to help a young guy meet someone. I would love you to come outside. Hey, I mean, yeah. I'm sure you're just as weirded out and confused as we are. Do you know this guy? Yeah. You do. You really were talking to me. Okay. Oh my gosh. Hi, I'm Max. Jayla. Hi, Jayla. 
Look, I think we've spent a bunch of time with Jalen. He's literally just getting shocked with the fact that you are actually who you said you were, which I was almost positive wasn't the case. I think it would help us all just to know how this started for you, and then how did we end up here? Three years ago, I was, I was still in high school. So, I felt like I loved you, but my parents wouldn't approve of it. You're older than me. I met you off the internet. My dad's a preacher. It's just too much. You know how long it's been? I can see a year, maybe. Maybe, that's pushing it, but three? If your parents are the reason why I couldn't see you, you could have bumped into me at a Walmart and said, hey, like not even a phone call. I'm busy, I do track, and then I have practice right after school. And on top of that, I had dance practice. On top of that, I played volleyball. On top of that, I played other sports. I'm sorry, what was your excuse for not getting on the phone? I, I missed yeah. that. I understand how it can be tough to tell someone the truth, but like, I don't get it. Oh, I was kind of trying to hold off because I want to apologize to you. I was in a relationship, so, and I was still talking to you and telling you I love you and all that, and I had a boyfriend, and I'm sorry. Are you still with your boyfriend? No, we broke up. They helped me find the Instagram. I saw pictures of you and another person. Why didn't you put it on your Facebook? You know, at least let me know. Were you trying to hide that from me? I do. Oh my gosh. When I tried to see you, I went over there, didn't hear nothing from you. I was actually at my ex-boyfriend's house. I wasn't even sure if you were you, and then I was scared to meet you. So is that wrong for me to be scared to meet somebody I have never met? I feel it's not. You could send a voice memo. You could have called me. Your phone worked. You a girl. You talk on the phone. That's disrespectful to my boyfriend. And you don't think that's disrespectful to me? I don't know you. I know you. You know how long it's been? Text. I don't know you. That was the whole point of talking through text, so you can be comfortable enough to see me in person. Okay, I'm. I'm trying to see you. I'm seeing you right now. I apologize. You had said things to him like asking him to come live. Yeah, and here. I really meant that. I'm older now. I'm out the house. I'm out with my parents. At the end of the day, like my relationship wasn't working out. I want you to be a part of my life, and I want you to at least accept my apology. You could have at least told me like what was going on so I could choose my position. If you want to be, be like some side dude, then say, hey, you know, I got a boyfriend, but I want you to be around. Then let me choose what I want to do. You were never a side person to me. And I've missed out on so much the past three years because you want to play games. What, what's it going to be now? Because you see me in person. I mean, I care you know, I can, about I can, you. I do. You listen to me when nobody else would. You're nice, you're smart, you're funny, you make me laugh, even when I don't want to. And I didn't want to give up on that. Okay. I'm sorry. I really want to believe you but I, I need to walk away. All right, I think, I think we better just break for today. Okay. Maybe if I can explain the in-between, this is stupid. All right, let's get, let's go. How do you feel? I'm at a loss for words right now. I just feel stupid. I mean, it's been three years. You at least have some time right now to process it a little bit. These things take a second, you know? I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what went on yesterday. I got kind of mad and whatnot, and I didn't really get to... So you that's know. not really you? No, I'm not the type to, like, get angry easily. That's why I wanted to kind of just walk away, because I didn't want it to get out of control, and I say some stuff I didn't mean. What you thinking? Right now, like, I feel like I like you, I care about you, I want to be in a relationship with you, but I feel like you're not on that page right now with me. I kind of want to have like a, 
a clean slate, but for me to trust you, I'd like for you to be a little bit more open. I feel like you're judging me off my past actions. I'm older now and mature. I'm trying to show you like that I am, I'm trying to be serious with you. But at this point, it's on you, like, because you're the one that don't trust me. I can't promise that it's going to be like overnight, to be completely honest with you. Yeah. I can't just like take it out of my head like that. But I'm willing to, to see where things go. I care about you a lot, and the love I have for you is completely real, 100%. So make but it if official. You wanna, what do you mean, how am Move I going to Move out here. Moving out here is so big. Look, I'm cute. Look. Yeah, I mean, that's cool, but it's, I just got to think about the stuff I could, I'm able to do out here. Then we got like three movies showing at I'm the theater. I'm not talking about no movie theater having fun. <laughs> it's like making sure I'm cool because I don't want to bum off of you. We can take time, see how it works. If distance doesn't work, then we'll figure everything out. Yeah, we'll it's something happens. you got to get used to. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to hug you standing up. Come here. <laughs> oh. I got to go. No. What's up, guys? I'm excited now. Like, we cleared everything up. He accepted my apology. And we can just see where things go from now. Oh, there he is. So what's going on with you, man? Oh, pretty much just really busy. And what about the little lady? Jayla. <sighs> OK, everything went perfectly fine until she added me on Snapchat. I looked at her story, and there's multiple pictures of her and this dude. One of them caught in my eye. She was sitting on this dude's lap, and it looked like they were a couple. So I call her up and, and call her out. And first she tried to deflect it and say, oh, it's nothing. Pretty much the same excuses. I'm like, look, you know, what you do is that's just what you do, and I'm not with that. Now, some people just like talking to a bunch of people and getting attention, which I like that too, but not in that type of way. So as far as like dating her right now, I'm probably not going to do that. Sorry that. It worked out that way. Hope everything works out with the game and you find love and hopefully we'll see you soon. All right, see you guys later. All right, later.